In addition to revealing signs of atrophy in the brain, MRIs also reveal the extent of brain lesions, the sclerotic scars that can accumulate as the protective myelin disappears. Dr. Jeffrey Horstmeyer is chairman of the Department of Neurology at Florida International University College of Medicine and founder and director of the MS Center in Miami. Dr. Horstmeyer examines an MRI for lesions, another fingerprint in the investigation for the existence of MS. And we can see here these, these areas uh, represent uh, areas of the brain where the uh, covering on the nerve has peeled off, the covering on, on areas of the white matter has peeled off the myelin. And as is typical in multiple sclerosis, the, the areas of demyelination frequently occur along the edge of the ventricles. The ventricles are the sacs of water in the center of the brain. And these, these areas of demyelination that, that come off of the ventricle, and they're very typical of what we see in a case of multiple sclerosis. There are four distinct types of MS, each with its own characteristics. Relapsing remitting MS is the most common. Patients with relapsing remitting MS have disease flare-ups called relapses, followed by periods where the disease appears to go into remission. Most people who have relapsing remitting MS will eventually develop secondary progressive MS, where the condition steadily worsens and disability progresses for a period of six months or longer. Some patients have primary progressive MS, where from the first clinical onset of the disease, patients continually progress in their disability with very few relapses. Not all forms of MS progress at what might be considered a normal speed leading to disability. There is a certain classification of multiple sclerosis called benign MS, where patients experience very mild symptoms over a course of many years. Those patients who, after 10 to 15 years, do not develop certain amounts of disability are called benign MS patients. These patients in the studies may remain benign for a period of 20 or more years, but then uh, in, uh, also according to some other international studies, uh, once the patient reach 25 to 30 years of their disease duration, suddenly 30 to 40 percent of these patients progress in their disability. Now the real question is why these patients who were benign for so long period of time uh, suddenly progress? The other question surrounding benign MS is that when MRIs of these patients are studied, the appearance of MS lesions and brain atrophy are similar to that of relapsing, remitting MS patients, the most common type of MS. 